Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nashabad, and I'm here to, here to help you out with the uh, exercise on the, the, the uh, histogram assignment. So I'm here at uh, the Week 6 Moodle page, and I've put in a, another link to Noah's page there, which you'll, you, can, uh, you can go to, because that's where we're going to get our data. And uh, here we are at the NOAA uh, uh, site, and there's the station meteorology link that you'll link to. Now, um, there's all these different data sets from different places, and if you want to know what all these stand for, uh, you can go to this README file. And so, for example, Barrow, Alaska is BRW, Mauna Loa is MLO, and so and so forth. Uh, we're not going to use this BLD. I think that stands for the, the uh, NOAA building itself. So you'll choose one of one of these. I'm just going to click on Barrow here. And uh, you can see Barrow's got data from 88 down to 2017, um, which will, of course, if we want to have full Spain, uh, we'd want to just go up to 2016. And you want to kind of check over these data sets to make sure that it's got the month that you want. So in this case, it does have a full set, uh, uh, January through uh, December. And um, so... Uh, and you'll also want to check to make sure that you've got that for the final year. So I'll go here to 2016. And, yeah, there it has uh, for January as well. So first thing I'm going to do is go back to uh, 1988 for Barrow. And uh, the way you download this is you have to right-click on that. And then you're going to save the link as. And uh, you're going to have to put it somewhere. Now... Uh, I've already um, created a folder here uh, where I was going to keep all that, and I've already actually downloaded that, so I don't need to need to do that. And you'll do the same thing for the other month. Then what you need to do is in um, in Excel is to pick up that data set, and the way you do that is here in Excel. I've got a new sheet here, and uh, you have to do this thing called import. So I'm going to import. And it's just a text file, so you need to click that, and um, it's going to say, well, what, what text file do you want? And uh, I think I'm just going to get the 1988 file here. Here, um, it's going to have, there's this text wizard. Uh, you need to say, I want, you know, I want delimited by commas and so forth, so I'm going to go to next. And, uh, and there's spaces between them, so you need to click on that. And that should be uh, should be pretty good. And I'm just going to say finish here. And uh, sure, I want that on the current sheet. And if it all has gone well, then you get these data. Now, one more uh, item on here is uh, when you do this, uh, just to kind of get a sense of the scale, I'm going to say the max, and uh, it's the K column, at, which is the temperatures. Okay, and the... Uh, the minimum, that's also the K column. I mean, looking at K column. Sometimes you'll see the number minus 999 show up here, and that means there's no good data for that. Um, doesn't really matter uh, because, uh, well, it would matter if you were taking the standard deviation, but what we want is a histogram, so it'll kind of ignore that. Once again, though, uh, just to make sure that we have all the, all the data covered, I'm just going to say minus uh, 80, minus 75, this time, we're gonna we're gonna run the temperatures all the way up just so we don't miss anything to like forty degrees Celsius. And uh, once again, now to uh, to do the histogram, I go to data here. I'm gonna do the data analysis. There's a histogram, and uh, this is already had filled in. It's K to K, it's the K row. That's fine. And uh, just to make sure I got this right, I'm gonna go. Uh, click on here, so that's the uh, histogram that I want. Make sure you click um, chart output, and uh, hopefully this will all show up nicely. Okay, so here we have a histogram of the uh, temperature uh, at Barrow uh, for that year. One more thing that you'll need to do is uh, just annotate this a little bit better, and say this is a histogram for um, January uh, 1988. Barrow, Alaska. Okay, and uh, once you got that, that's all fine. Now, what we're going to want, I'm going to want you to do is uh, make a copy of this chart and put it into a Word file. So I've opened up a Word file, so that was a copy and paste. And, um, and so here we have the histogram for January 88, and then what you're going to do is uh, do the same thing for, say, 2016 for Barrow, same month. 
or whichever whichever location you want. You don't have to be um, you don't have to go for barrel. And I think that that just kind of completes the assignment. So it's this it's this that I'm going to want you to upload um, as uh, as your assignment. And you don't have to put any captions on it. Just I just want the graphs.